I don't know if you can see the deer down there, but I figured this was a lovely spot to um, read you my on again sonnet. Six Mile Pilgrimage, which I wrote this morning, June 15, 2024. Each mile in six miles, often taken quickly by joggers on the trails they love and know. On trails, their distance from the life that's prickly to soar within a rainbow as they go. Each six mile mile is better taken slowly, while viewing every blossom like it's holy, while kneeling down to each one that you see, it's best to take each step religiously. You find your mind unwinds as you're progressing. You take each blossom with you in your mind, but leave each for the next lost soul to find. Each step you take and leave another blessing. Each six mile mile is heaven through and through. And once you see it, it's a part of you. Just like those deer, like the one that's right, right there. She's coming back. She, oh, it's a he. Little horns, I see. That one was um, dining on some vegetation here. And it's now deciding that it's a, a good place to go. Oh, there's the other one. There's a little female down there. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, yeah, there she is. And I love this time of year because when the June grass is tall and green, you can see it blowing in the breeze and look at it's like it's flowing there, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's like the, the coolies are even more alive as not just individual um, plant lives, but uh, lots and lots is combined into one. So it's like the, each coolie is like a, an elephant or something, some sort of living thing. And this little guy, he's not that shy, is he? He's coming right close. What a sweet guy. So this spot is actually not very floral. <laughs> There's a few things I can show you along here. There's some uh, textile onion. And I'll try not to scare the little man. There's some wild vetch here. That one's not a very pretty one, really. And common harebell. Blue flax, quite a lot of that, and some yarrow, and uh, we've seen a lot of flowers today, but this, this little spot, I just decided I'd read you my poem here because of the deer, because they're wonderful to see.